hello friends in this video i'm going to show you how to create a pipe using pipe application in creo parametric 6.0 so before starting i would like to uh, tell you that uh, if you want to create that pipe application uh, sorry pipe in pipe application you have to be in the uh, assembly module okay you cannot create it in the uh, part module so what i'll do i'll create one assembly okay keep the subtype as design and say okay once we enter in the uh, assembly module go to the application here where you can see my mouse after going into the application go to piping okay so once you reach here uh, we will start one by one how will the procedure go on but before that uh, we have to do one thing okay go to the model and take one point here and select coordinate okay the system reference here will uh, take that reference as coordinate system once the coordinate is selected press ok and the, the work is done now again go to the application then piping again select piping and you are entered into the piping application okay the first step here is uh, select the create pipe option here okay where my cursor is right now select that it will ask you for the pipeline name give it some name i will give as pipe one enter it will ask for line stock i will say one two three enter here there are is there is one window is popped up and here you have to fill uh, many parameters are there which you can select as per your requirement right now i will be uh, entertaining only the required parameters okay so important parameter for me here is pipe od so i'm keeping pipe od as 100 mm thickness as 5 mm here if you go down here if, if you follow my cursor you can see here bend radius of that pipe i'll keep it as 100 then i'll go for the next that is bend angle which is 1940-60 i'll keep it as is okay and then press okay so the second stage is done here okay now the third stage is go to set to set start okay click that option now you, here you have to give the reference point from where you have to start the pipe okay so the point which we had created earlier we will select that as a ref starting point reference and uh, say okay now the next step is extend option okay click on the next extend option here you will see that there are three arrows x y and z so in whichever direction your pipe you want to start select that arrow hold it and drag it only okay and you now you'll see that dimensions are increasing you can directly edit the dimension from here like i will keep it as 500 and otherwise you can uh, keep that change the dimension in that window also here you can see in the x direction it is 500 and in y and z direction it is zero okay now press apply now i want this pipe to go upward okay so in y direction so what i'll do i'll select that y arrow drag it in the vertical direction till my required dimension is achieved okay and if i want that dimension to be 500 i will click that dimension double click and i'll put it as 500 mm okay a similar way in whichever direction you want to in, uh, increase or have a bend in that direction you can have just by going near uh, near to that yellow point and uh, you can see there if i toggle it you will see x y and z direction arrows coming so i'll again go to the x direction i'll hold down and i'll drag it sorry before that you have to say here in the in the uh, this window you have to say apply after uh, after selecting each point you have to say apply otherwise you will be moving that point in the 3d direction 
okay which i don't want to create right now so again uh, after pressing uh, pressing apply button again go to, i want to extend that point in the x direction in the back direction so i'll again hold it and drag it okay this time the man dimensions are coming in the minus direction so i will keep it as minus 500 okay now this time i want to go in the y direction okay which is this one but before uh, going to that direction i would like to press apply so that a new point will come or uh, that uh, the new dire new extension will be created press apply now here you can see again three uh, arrows here I'll again select X and drag it. Here, see uh, the direct uh, the value is coming in the positive. I'll keep it as positive 500. Okay. Now this much pipe is okay for me. So what I'll do? Uh, press apply. Say cancel here. Done. So here pipe routing is done. Okay. Now now the time is for uh, creating a solid pipe out of it okay so to create a solid pipe out of it you have to go to pipe solid if you can see my cursor here press it okay here you can see a pipe here select that pipe option here at uh, if, you, if you can follow my cursor then say okay and your pipe is created okay so how uh, you have to create the pipe so it is very simple procedure and uh, if you want to in the next step you want to change the diameter of that pipe so you simply have to go to that line stock again select it select edit definition here you have to select the diameter whichever the diameter you want i will select 150 then say okay and press ctrl g and you see the diameter of that pipe is increased okay and uh, if you want to change the radius of this pipe then you don't need to do anything uh, different here you just uh, click on this uh, yellow uh, blue color uh, sketch okay if you see this blue color sketch so you have to go to that blue uh, just go to uh, that bend near nearby and you will uh, see that automatically that uh, bend will appear just click double click on that and you will see that radius is 100 mm and if you want to change it to some other value, just double click on it. Uh, a new menu manager will appear. So click on new value and give here 150, the new bend radius and enter it. For that, escape, press escape and press control G. See? Radius is changed. Okay. So this is how it is uh, done. Uh, and then another point is if you want to uh, extend this pipe okay so that is also very simple thing uh, what you have to do is again go to route pipe okay click on it and uh, select from where you want to extend it okay i'll go to this end if you can follow my cursor here and select it okay again you will see the various options are highly uh, turned on here now i will select extend option okay select extend now again you will see similar x y and z direction arrows are here similar way you, you if you want to change uh, or increase the length of that pipe you can extend by dragging z or if you want to uh, increase the pipe in the vertical direction drag it in the vertical direction press apply uh, whatever the dimension you want to keep keep it press apply again i want to move this uh, pipe in the x direction now this time minus direction so i will change the value from the window here minus 500 and say apply and say cancel now if you see the pipe is not yet completed so you don't need to do anything extra you just go into a keyboard and press ctrl g and your pipe is getting updated automatically don't need to do anything else okay so this is how pipe application works 
or how it uh, how you can redefine also if you uh, if you want to know anything about, more about creo or any uh, creo applications please let me know in the comments i will be creating a new videos for you and don't forget to like share and subscribe this video and thanks for watching the, this video